Glory to God. We welcome you once again to this five-minute podcast by Memphis Covenant Faith. My name is Pastor Helen Price. As we begin today's podcast, as always, we pray that God himself this day will meet you at the point of your need, whatever that need might be. In James 5 and verse 16, the word of God says, pray one for another that you may be healed. When I pray for you, my healing also springs forth. As a point of contact and agreement, please lay your hands upon yourself as I pray just for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I speak to and bind, rebuke, forbid, arrest, and resist all weakness, sickness, disease, infirmity, pain, and discomfort from off of your body. And I command it to leave your body now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Also in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray and declare over you, let there be healing, wholeness, wellness, soundness, deliverance, recreated miracles, and total recovery to every cell, organ, and system of your body from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Let you be blessed to be a blessing unto others. And if you're in agreement with this prayer, please say, Lord, in Jesus' name, I receive this. Today's podcast is part 17 of setting the standard of God's excellence in our lives. In honor of Pentecost Sunday, which was on May 20th this year, we began a series of messages on the Pentecostal experience. We've learned from Acts 2, verse 38 and 39, that the precious Holy Spirit is a gift who must be received, and that he is also the promise of the Father to every believer in Jesus Christ. Remember that some gifts that we receive come with written instructions, especially our electronic gifts like phones, tablets, and Game Boys. Our new vehicles come with a complete manual so that we can know how to use, work, and enjoy that vehicle. God has given us his instruction book, the Bible, so that we can better understand who the precious Holy Spirit is and what will he do for us. Genesis 1 verses 1 through 3 says, In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters, and God said, Let there be light, and there was light. Genesis 1 through 1 and verses 1 through 3 in the Living Bible says, When God began creating the heavens and the earth, the earth was a shapeless, chaotic mass, with the Spirit of God brooding over the dark vapors. Then God said, Let there be light, and light appeared. Someone said the precious Holy Spirit was waiting on one thing, and that was for the Word of God to be spoken. We must remember and never forget that the precious Holy Spirit is the one who is the divine building constructor, who builds and constructs the word of God as we speak it. Just as he was hovering over the chaos and darkness on the day of the earth's creation, he's hovering over and in us to build and construct the word of God in our lives as we speak them. Sometimes it can be very hard to do, but we must set our words to speak in agreement with God, his word, and with what we want to come to pass. We must resist speaking in agreement with the circumstances or symptoms that we see and feel. When we see, say what the word of God says and what we desire to come to pass, instead of speaking out chaos, darkness, sickness, disease, poverty, lack, and want, the precious Holy Spirit can bring it to pass. Hebrews 11 and verse 3 confirms Genesis 1 verses 1 through 3. It says, by faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that the things which are seen were not made of things which are visible. That word frame means to be made or created. So we see by faith we understand that the worlds were made or created by the word of God. When we speak in agreement with the word of God, the precious Holy Spirit can and will bring it to pass. Today, we have learned that the precious Holy Spirit is the divine building constructor who builds and constructs the word of God as we speak them. As we end this broadcast today, may you continue to lift up the name of Jesus Christ. And may his standard of excellence be set in every area of your life. Remember that the word of God says in Romans 10, 13, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. This day, if you're not sure of your salvation, please say with me, Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart and life. I do believe that you are the Christ, the Son of the living God, and that God raised you from the dead. I repent of all my sins. I give my heart and life to you. Now, if you prayed that prayer with me according to Acts 20 and verse 32, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace that is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among all them which are set apart in Jesus Christ. God bless each and every one of you greatly today.